Hey, Libra Gang Gang, good morning. How y'all doing? It's your girl, Ruth. How y'all been? I had actually did y'all video last night. I was so tired. I was going to upload it, and I erased it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> but anyway, let's get started. Anybody new, thank y'all for coming. Those that have been rocking with me, thank y'all for coming back. I really appreciate it. I hope y'all on y'all healing journey, because they sure got me on mine. Uh, telling people and I hope I'm helping and uh, yeah something I want to show y'all um, I found it's called the proclamation it's the Moorish American week paper that a, a lady put out um, the mayor Christman Christman uh, city of st. Petersburg uh, it says whereas the Moorish Americans are the descendants of the ancient Mobites Hamanites and Canaanites. I want to say that's Havites, but I looked it up. That's the Jesuits. So y'all look that up. They were another one that's running the world. Okay. Who were permitted by the old pharaoh of Kemet to transverse from East Africa and later formed themselves as kingdoms extending from the northwestern and southwestern shores of Africa the Atlantic Islands and to the present day continental America. Okay. And the in, indigenous Jewish peoples of the Americans are now united in order to again link themselves with the family of nations and the Moorish Americans, being Aboriginal to the territories of North, Central, and South America, have formed a sovereign, have formed sovereign uh, theoretic government guided by the command principle of the of love truth peace freedom and justice through virtual of the universal right to self-determination as well as with the declaration on the rights of indigenous peoples guaranteed in the chapter and on january 8 1886 noble drew ali was born in the state of north carolina this this thing this thing this thing design to become the first patron of his mentally enslaved Moorish American people. In 1912, he was later anointed as Ali Halal Shafa Abdul Ali by the heads of Egypt and the holy city of Mecca to return to the U.S. as the last prophet and founding father of the newly risen nat nation of Moorish Americans. As a result of the 13th Amendment, Moorish people were emancipated from slavery in 1865. Now therefore, I, Lisa Wheeler Bowman, St. Petersburg City Council member, do hereby proclaim January 8, 2019 through January 15, 2019, Moorish American Week in St. Petersburg, Florida, and urge area residents to join in recognizing the tremendous contributions of Moorish Americans and making our city a better place to live, work, and play. Okay. In witness thereof, I have hereunto set my hand and cause of official seal of city of St. Petersburg, county of Pinas, P-I-N-P-I-N-E-L-A-S, P -I -N -E -L -A -S, and state of Florida to be affixed this 10th day of January 20th. Lisa, she signed it. Lisa Willow Bowman, District 7, St. Petersburg City Council. So I thought that was pretty interesting, y'all. Now I know when by me reading the Bible, um, studying it and stuff, a whole lot of things missing, a whole lot of things is quoted. But I remember, um, I think Joseph was before Moses, y'all. <laughs> he asked Pharaoh for a certain part of the land because you know the world was together in the Latin uh, maps. Y'all be able to find that the world was all together, the land was together. It wasn't separated by water. And uh, he asked the Pharaoh for this part of land, America, Jacob, and that's where he, uh, you know, he, uh, they resided. And I, Esau came with him and uh, his people. So that's another story for another video. And then Moses, when he got the people out of Egypt, and they were mixed because Moses was mixed. That's how he passed to be a Pharaoh at that time. You know, they wasn't all black. Okay, y'all. Uh, a whole lot of things have been misconstrued. But um, he was to free 
the uh, different color people, some and, and they were two all different colors to migrate and have babies, you know, together, and uh, different cultures were to, you know, go together and stuff. So we in that again, you know, and and Trump is Pharaoh, okay? That's why you won't let the people go. <laughs> yeah, it's deep, y'all. But yeah, I just thought I'd read that. Um, and uh, y'all tell me what y'all think about that, okay? I'm trying to light these incense to keep going out. So let's see. Let's get started, y'all. As soon as I light this incense. Okay. And the first one we're going to do, y'all, is... Oh, uh, shoot. I mean, I was really tired last night. I got stuff mixed out. Look. Hold on one second. <laughs> wow. I didn't know how tired I was, y'all. Yeah. Okay, two of these should be over here. Okay. First, we'll do the affirmation. Affirmations of truth. Okay. Let me let me put the rubber band back on this one, y'all. Yeah. Hold on one second. Okay. Hope y'all doing fine. Like I said, I hope y'all still on y'all healing journey and finding things i hope i'm helping out you know and uh y'all make sure y'all give me information that y'all don't see i might not know that's how we do share information that makes the world go around okay yeah so that was uh, very interesting and getting more deep off into it because see y'all it's, it's been color if you, the universe, the whole sky, everything is color. The rainbow shows you that. So don't let nobody fool you and say that one color was better than the other color and all that kind of stuff. Now, as far as melon is concerned, so don't let nobody fool you about get taking your melon out. Like I've seen some videos, people are letting them take their melon out of their body. That's your survival. That's your to come back and reborn, be reborn. Otherwise, you'll be stuck on the wall, like Michael Jackson album says, okay, when you leave here. So it goes deep, y'all. I'm going to make a video about that. It goes really deep. So don't don't let them take your melanin out and be about your business. Do something because people don't want to bring people back into the world. Your ancestors, for one, don't want to come back if you ain't been doing nothing. You've been causing havoc being uh, nosy and busy and you know what I'm saying and not causing trouble they're not trying to come back and in, inside of your family bloodline <laughs> you know so you want to be able for your ancestors to want to come back in your bloodline because y'all about business you know what I'm saying and they gonna they gonna make sure that they come back and help you out on that you know and make sure everything spins like it's supposed to in the family and make everything better. Not all this craziness, because all this craziness is about to stop. People don't know it, but this <clears throat> this the golden era, the golden age, okay? And it's a whole nother everything going on, you know? So get ready, y'all. <clears throat> As y'all can see, y'all know something going on. And that's what it is. Because uh, our ancestors are pissed off that these lower entities have been making us do these things. Uh, and we chose to follow them and be in control. And some of them didn't have any choices. You know, like back in my grandma and them great-great-grandma days. Okay, the first one, I don't like talking about my ex. Okay. Don't need to say bad things. It's over. It's over. You had you learn. You're supposed to learn from each other, right? I always manif manifest what I want. Okay. Uh, what's the next one? Accept that some people will not and don't want to change. Got to accept that. Just talking about that. Uh, <clears throat> you know, you get stuck in the control. Pat yourself on the back. Okay. Yes, you do. I do that to myself. I don't keep secrets. Uh, not for my, you know, partners. I'm, I'm going to tell y'all everything. I am not all nice where you can use me. Show, sure, ain't. We see that a mile away, right, Libra Gang Gang? Don't care about being popular. Show sure don't. I don't. 
I am not con conceited that I think every man or woman wants me. Everyone has a type. Okay. No, leave a gang gang. We, <laughs> we think we all men's type but and women. But, uh, hey, <clears throat> it is what it is. Remember, you are the best. S-H-I-T. Say I am. Whatever you are to you and can and give to the world. Okay. Pat yourself and compliment yourself, Libra Gang Gang. I don't follow the latest trend. Mm -mm. I make my own trend, right? My intuition is on point. Boom. Okay. I don't share. I don't stare at people that's rude. Okay. I can make a decision. They say we can. Yes, we do. We weigh the pros and cons. And that time, we don't want y'all coming in our face with all y'all issues and problems. Okay? Handle your own stuff. Alright? I may like one night stands. So, I'm telling you ahead of time. Show is. <laughs> no strings attached. I am very creative. Okay? That's wonderful. Ain't it, Libra Gang Gang? So, the next one is medical affirmations. Make sure y'all make y'all affirmations. Say them every day, y'all. Morning and night. Reach for the stars. Make an affirmation that you probably ain't going to fulfill in this lifetime. But you're going to do your best to. You know, affirmations are things that you want to see and, and do and change and be. You know, see in your life, whatever it may be. You know, want to be a tree you now, be you now, me you now, whatever. How you gonna do that? You know, it's, it's not gonna drop out the sky. You know what I'm saying? So what are you putting on? What are you doing? What do you want to grow in order to get it? You know? I listen to a lot of billionaires and millionaires and trillionaires. Because I don't have that around me. And that's where I'm trying to go. Okay. So... Yeah, it's going to be all kind of obstacles going to come in the way. But I'm going to push them bad boys to the side. <laughs> and I'm going to keep going. Ain't no stopping us now. We're on the move. You know, I never paid attention to that song, really, the words of it. Besides that right there. But it says about the negative vibes and all of that. See? All them songs be telling you stuff. I didn't know how coded they were and what exactly they was talking about. We thought it was about sex of my lover and all that kind of stuff. Mm-mm. It goes deeper than that, y'all. This incense just keep going on. Let me see. Let me like this other one, y'all. Hold on. Y'all like my little ambiance? Oh, I forgot to show y'all my grandbaby stuff. Y'all see these writings all on here, right? My bookie dudes. I told him, I'm going to take y'all art. And I'm going to uh, use it. Look. See that little stool? A uh, four-year-old and two-year-old. Yeah, y'all can tell the difference, right? <laughs> I like my book of dudes, too. See? That's their little dinner plate and the dishes and all that. <laughs> yeah. Very proud of my grandbabies. Very smart. You know? I'm trying to get situated. Okay. So let's continue. Y'all brag on y'all family. Them babies. The children. I always had my kids. I, I was uh, When they was growing up, everybody's grown now. My baby's 20. But I always had uh, different arts and crafts I did with the, pe the kids, with my kids as well in the neighborhood. You know, when I sat in the park, when they went to the park, I sat in the park with them because... The other kids in the neighborhood as well as mine you know their parents be leaving them and i want to talk you know i want to see who's doing what and if they get into arguments or disagreements you know they don't understand they need an adult there to help them and guide them you know so you know everybody play well you know they just need that guidance because they can get out of hand and and they they can in, react and be acting out of um, what they seen and they and what they heard in the household so you be there to tell them what's true and what's not you know sometimes they need a outside influence 
whether they go back and the parents get mad or whatever the deal is. Sometimes, I, a whole lot of times, I teach the parents when they come up as well. You know how things really go, because a lot of people been taught wrong. You know, I'm not saying I'm no expert on nothing, but, you know, I, I had a crazy household as well, and I did not agree with it, because when I was born, at about two or three or four years old, when I would go outside, I'd be looking up to the sky like, where am I? Did the stalk, did, did you drop me off at the wrong address? You know, that's how I used to say. Oh, y'all, that was a lot. I used to say that. It's like, because I don't know what's going on. Not only in my household. I was from a little small town. And, wow. <laughs> and uh, they were scared. Different colors were scared. Each other was white and black and, and, and Italian. And they was, you know, blacks were scared to go downtown and scared to do this and scared to do that. I went wherever I wanted to go <laughs> when I was younger. And they able to move around. I wasn't scared of nobody. They would respect me and I respect them and we keep it moving. But they were so scared, don't go downtown, don't go here, don't go there. I'm not finna live in no fear like that. I still do that today, wherever I stay. I'm, maybe not. I do not have a nasty attitude. Sure don't. I treat people with respect and I expect that back. I don't take everything personally. Jokes, criticism, I learn and laugh at myself. So do. It used to hurt me when I was younger. They called me treetop and, you know, because I was tall and, and uh, you know, and I didn't know there was jealousy in people who liked me, you know, and just wanted to break my confidence. I had to learn. You know, I had to learn that. I let others know if I am freaky. Okay. Please don't take me if I don't tell you. I changed my diet when needed. Eat right. Dig deep inside myself. Okay. I won't poison no one, body, and mind, and soul. <laughs> okay, take that the way y'all want. I don't attract neg negative people, places, or things in my life. Boom. They had to put that one out there. I don't put people down. So sure don't. Mm -mm. Stay away from people who do. I don't need a man to make me happy or a woman. I am happy. Okay, with or without anybody. I stay happy, y'all. I do not put spells or wish wrong to anyone because I know it comes back to me and mine. But I don't protect mine. But no, I wouldn't even dare to do that to anybody. I am not a control freak. So now I learn better. I don't just cry for attention or reason. Okay, so don't. I am not mental. I understand myself regardless what others say. Correct the mundo. I don't use sex as a weapon. Mm -mm. I like a lot of people I know. I'm not money hungry, putting people down, sleeping with the boss in order to get money. Because I can do it myself. I can make money. I love my skin color. Sure do. <laughs> I never had a problem. Whatever I come here and ask. Because we've been here many times. I love my skin color. I can be quiet. Okay. Love your skin you in, baby. Don't let nobody take that middle or not. Okay. I am not insecure. Put that melanin in. Put that in your babies. Get you some black friends. You know, black mates. Get that. Add that in your family. Believe me, you're going to need it. I don't have anxiety. And black folks, get the other cultures in your family. Forget all that prejudice crap. I don't need to gamble. I am not hooked. Okay. I'm learning. <laughs> I teach my kids to take care of themselves. Love yourself first. Sure do. Okay, hope y'all doing that. Don't make them codependent on you. I don't feel going hungry, being alone, being overweight by eating over, or being poor. So sure don't, because Mother Nature got a whole bunch of food out there. And I'm learning all survival stuff. I don't need cigarettes to smoke for company all, all the time. I can sit or do other things. Working on that one as well. Okay? I don't overeat. If I do, I watch what I eat. Okay? Stop eating for a day. Okay. I don't get bored or restless. I can calm down and be in the moment. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I don't lie to myself. Okay. I don't say doubtful things. And watching that come in my brain. Okay, y'all. Leave it, gang, gang. That's some good things they said, right? Let's see. Now we're doing healthy edible plants, okay? Yeah. 
maybe some things, some plants uh, y'all were looking for for illnesses. I didn't know you had the plants. Excuse me, or uh, you know, whatever it may be. Anyone y'all see that I don't uh, have, please let me know. The guy was telling me, I think I was kind of like choking a little bit. He told me about the uh, cayenne pepper. And that's very good also for protection. And I had uh, been adding it in my diet too. I did put it in one of my teas I made. But I didn't make it with that. That day I had made me some water. And I took it out of the plastic cause, you know, uh, bottle. Because you know the plastic bottles already dying. So I um, put some basil, some oregano, and a little sea salt. And I boiled it on the stove and I, and I strained it for me to drink. I'm going to do it again today. I usually make it all the time. So, yeah. Clean that water, y'all. We don't want them uh to be, you know, if from the faucet. We don't want them to be controlling us because they don't tell them when they're going to close them stores. You know what I'm saying? Want to play with us again. So, that's, that's really causing everybody to help each other. What you got, I got. What I got, you got. You know what I'm saying? That's really what they're trying to do. Get everybody. That's why Trump' purpose is here, is to do that, bring everybody together to talk about him. You know, that's the whole purpose. You know, people don't get it, but that's his purpose. He's a trumpet, okay? That's his thing. He's to make you, you know, love your neighbor more. You know, so I'm glad everybody got a position here. Everybody doing what they supposed to do if you pay attention. You know what I'm saying? So let's see. So yeah. Oh shoot, I didn't put a rubber band around this one. Oh wow. I'll be on the floor in a minute. So yeah. <coughs> let's see. Okay, y'all, uh, let's see what Leap Gang Gang what they got. What they say it. Uh, this is what I'm going to look for again. I can't eat mangoes anymore, y'all, because of my blood type. <laughs> it's king of the fruits, mango. High in antioxidants, boosts immune system, protein, carbs, fiber, vitamin C, B6, A, E, B5, K, and copper in it. Okay? Need that copper. Folate, niacin, potassium, ribofen, Manganese, diamond, man, um, manganese, and uh, I cannot say the other one right now. Yeah, I see what that is. Small amounts of uh, whatever that is. Maybe I know what that is. Calcium, iron helps body absorb iron and promotes growth and repair heart health. I don't take the, I put the words anyway because a lot of people might know what that is. Okay. Ginger, love ginger, from South Asia, prevents damage prevents damage to DNA, okay? They're trying to do now, mess with our DNA. Antioxidants compound that prevents stress and damage to your body's DNA. They may help your, your body fight off chronic diseases like high blood pressure, heart disease, disease of the lung, plus promote healthy aging, and that COVID, okay? Other cultures with seeds in it. Other, others are hybrid. So make sure the bananas have seeds in it. The other ones are hybrid, made in the laboratory. Improved digestive health, blood sugar levels, uh, saturating, protect heart, energy source, improve insulin, kidney health, potassium, natural sugars, frost, fructose, whatever that means, fiber. Antioxidants control sugar, blood sugar, healthy skin, vitamin A, treat ulcers, lose weight loss, energy, blood pressure, good for pregnant and breastfeeding women, menstrual problems. Okay. Uh, let me see. Now I'm gonna look for this. Okay. Uh, begonias. Okay. Beautiful flowers for headaches, sore nipples, eye wash, or congest. Con Conjunctitis, pectic ulcers, suffering from kidney stones, gout, rheumatism, avoid it, okay? For, read more on it. For body toxins, crush and rub, you can, can help on skin to help relieve pain, heal sores and burns, blood circulation, 
traumatic pain, gonorrhea, vaginal disorder, this yeah, discharge, and snake bites. Okay. Basil, just talking about it. Smooth, soothe fever, headaches, sore throat, cold cough, uh, flu, fights free radicals, and unstable atoms, stress, cells, repair, cellular structure, skin aging, skin benefits, cleanse without within oily skin, clogged pores, depression, diabetes, liver function, de detoxifier, detoxifies body, reduced bloating, water retention, loss of appetite, acid reflex, cuts, from a therapy, therapy, you know, I told y'all, I use it to clean me out, honey. I use that, I use basil a lot, clean my water. So spider lilies, our best as medicine is said in Buddhism that if they come down is a signal of an upcoming celebration or occasion. Red spider lilies cooked as starch, used as starch. Caution, Pope's toxin must be leached before used for food. Two inactive alkaloids, okay? So it's a Chinese medicine for liver, also swelling, stomach problems, rheumatism, epilepsy. The colors of the flower matters, okay? It, uh, it blooms in spring, autumn, and summer. White lids for chastity and purity. Yellow, prosperity and abundance, passion. Orange for confidence, pride, and wealth. Yellow is for thanks, thankfulness and desire for enjoyment. So you can use these for also for in rituals or to keep around the house to keep it, you know, keep things going or whatever. Okay. So, yeah, Libra Gang Gang, that's all I have for now. And uh, like I say, y'all stay healthy and stay prospering and uh, teach people. That's what we came here to do, Libra Gang Gang. And uh, we are the scales. We are Maya. Okay. And look up her if you don't know who that is. And uh, we're not an animal or uh, a human. Okay. So remember that. And I love y'all and I thank y'all for coming. And keep keep educating and learning yourself. Okay, like I know y'all will. All right, love you, Libra. Would y'all like, subscribe, share, and comment? And until next time, y'all have a great day. All right, bye. I'm going to upload it now.